KTN News, Nairobi. Right, um, a good place to begin our discussion tonight. Let's do this discussion very chap chap because my Deleo chap chap leader, party leader, Dr. Alfred Mutua is with us in studio tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to see the Corona Elisha. Corona Elisha, it has gone down. We have vaccinated. Good to see you, Governor. And good to see you because this is just a day after you made your statement. I want to begin from that. But before I begin, the way you people change allegiance, you shift. Like yesterday, you were in Azimio, very staunch support, and suddenly, you are in KK and you're a big supporter now. How do you just shift like that? Devon? You're not shifting. What it is is that you have to go to where you believe that uh, your principles and the ideologies are in sync. You know, when I was a kid, I taught Sunday school. And I remember there's a song we used to listen to. Somebody used to say, Nilipotea na kutanga tanga kwenye bahari ya dhambi wana yesu amenyokoa. You, you can see somebody who is out there uh, maybe you're a drunkard, you're a sinner, and then you get saved. And uh, you switch, you realize actually what you thought was the light is darkness when you actually see the real light. So it is not about changing, it is about moving from something that is not proper to something that is better. And especially when you're not doing it for yourself, mm -hmm. but you're doing it for the people of this country. Because in Kenya, we cannot afford to make the same mistakes that we've been making since independence. My grandfather grew up with no water and no roads. My father grew up with no water, no roads. I grew up with no water, no roads. My kids have grown in an environmental company, there are no water and no roads. I don't want my kids' kids, you know, my grandkids, to grow up the same the way. The same thing. There comes a time mm -hmm. when you have to call for change. And changing at times means making difficult and bold decisions. Governor, if I would say this is all about political expediency, you want to survive post your 10-year term as governor, that's all. No, That's no. what this is about, Governor. There's no, there's no other thing. No, no, it's not really. It's, it's all about inclusivity. Let me tell you. You know, you, you're looking at this document uh, that you are, you're reading of uh, UDA with uh, Mosalia Mudabadi and uh, Moses Wetangula with William Ruto. You see, the document we signed with Azimio, after we signed it, it went into hiding. I don't know if the document went into hiding or they hid it. We know I've seen the document. Why can they make it public? This document, as I watch TV, I'm not surprised. Because the first thing, when you sit down with Ruto, he tells you exactly everything he has agreed with every person. This is what we've agreed in terms of development. Mm -hmm. This is what we are doing about development. This is what we are doing for, in terms of revival of these industries. These are the roads we are looking at. This is now what, in terms of sharing government, this is what Musalia Mudavadi is getting, mm -hmm. what Tangula is getting. You know, Mutua, this is what is left. This is what, you know what I mean? So it is open because he, he believes that start from a point of honesty, start from a point of openness, so that you know. Do you so believe as him? you go in, do you believe I, I, believe, him? I believe him. You I believe, believe him. what because he tells about it? One of the things people do not know about William Ruto, you know, I've known William Ruto for quite some time now. And uh, William Ruto is very forthright. When he doesn't like something, he reminds me of Mzee Kibaki. He's very forthright. He will not tell you stories that he ought to angalia, he ought to kupigia simu, nda kuambia. He says no, it is no. Mm -hmm. If William Ruto says, I will call you, he will call you. Okay. If William Ruto says, intafanya he, he does it. Okay. And I like, when he says, staki, mm -hmm. hate him, but at least you know it you're dealing stand. with somebody who is uh, not two-faced. Okay, I and want that to, is very, very important. I want to go to this document, but one more question. Did, did this start, you thinking of moving away, did it start when Kalonzo Musioka was included in the fold? Because you and Professor Kibwana and, and uh, Mamangilu were very strong and uh, you were right at the forefront supporting Azimio and campaigning for Azimio. But as soon as Kalonzo joined, that's where it seems the trouble started because there was no space for uh, the three of you anymore as it was at that time because Kalonzo is a big deal in Ukambani. Is that where the problem started? Not really. Actually, time? the problem started with lack of inclusivity. Let me, let me tell you a story. You know, uh, I started seeing things changing when uh, the issue of forming the Azimio One Kenya Alliance started. Mm -hmm. We were at KCC and uh, we were all sitting there and waiting for the president to come. And then we were told that uh, the Raila has gone to see the president and they are with Kalonzo and Gilo and a few people. They're working on a document with Joho and Junette and others. And we said, oh, the document is there. They are just polishing. It's coming. We look at it. Mm -hmm. And we waited and waited and waited. 
Eventually, uh, Raila came and he started telling us some of the things in the document. And then we agreed as the other leaders, they made me their spokesperson, their party leaders, that we need to have this document because we have delegates, thousands waiting. Mm -hmm. We go through clause by clause. It's, it's a four-page document, five-page document, very mm -hmm. simple. Mm -hmm. You go through clause by clause, resolution by resolution. As you do in delegates meeting, people mm -hmm. adopt them or reject them. And then uh, after that, then we move on as a Zemio, then we can sign. Mm -hmm. Then the president came and then there was an issue about coalition partners. Uh, coalition, the, the summit, more or less like a council, which was only including WIPA, Jubilee, and ODM. We said, what about the rest of us? Mm -hmm. So we agreed we'll add two more seats so that they're about two, 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 and two from the rest of us. Yeah. When the president came, um, I stood up and uh, they didn't want me to speak. I think they're very sensitive when I speak when Kalonzo is there. I think uh, they don't want to annoy Kalonzo. And uh, he tried to, to stop me from speaking, but people said, no, Muto is our spokesman. He is the one who is going to tell you the things that we agreed upon. Okay. So I highlighted those things and we agreed. Yeah. We finish. When we went to the plenary, uh, they called Mwishmi Tienda Molo. Tienda Molo went and stood there. We thought now we we're going through the document because he's a senior lawyer. Uh, Tienda Molo went and said the resolution, uh, Reila Molo Dinga to be the prince, to be the mm -hmm. party leader. Mm -hmm. All in favor say aye. Aye. We are very happy. Then Kanini Kega came and he said, aye, Sasa, 20 to sign, 20 to sign, to sign, uh, Jubilee for 10 ODM. Mm -hmm, no, mm -hmm. We never went through the resolutions we had agreed. So we are told to sign what we don't, we don't know. Mm -hmm. When my secretary general went to sign, he was given a blank piece of paper. A blank piece of paper. Did he sign a blank piece of paper? A blank piece of paper with my little chap chap written here. I whispered, what is going on? Then I was told, you don't worry, sign it. We are trying to make sure Caronzo gets in. So this is just, uh, it's just for national, you know, showing that we're all together. Mm -hmm. But after this, did, the, did he sign? the That's document will, will, will be yeah. given. Did he sign? He said, but you know, the Secretary General, mm -hmm. according to our constitution, his signature means nothing. Because according to constitution, you have to have three signatures of the chairman or the vice chairman, the Secretary General, the vice Secretary General, and the organizing secretary. So his signature is nothing. It was just symbolic. But the point is, we never got that document mm -hmm. given to us. The next thing we hear is that a document has been deposited at the, the and we have never seen it. Really? That's when, and then, they, and then somebody whispered to us, they zoning. That now Ukambani will be zoned for one party, uh, Nyanza or mm -hmm. that, another party. That is when I called a press conference with Kibwana and others. And then, as I called the, the press conference, we talked about it. Then the following day, I had a meeting of all my aspirants. Okay. And when I'm in the meeting, before the meeting, the president, his excellent president, called me. He told me, oh, uh, go and meet uh, Ray Lodinga. You'll solve all the issues, said Sal. When I'm in the meeting, because I was running late, uh, his Excellency Ray Lodinga kept calling me. And I told him I'm coming because I was running late. So they started their meeting. When I went to the meeting, eventually, a bit late, I go to the meeting, and uh, they were all standing there in the garden. They said, ah, mutua mefika, mutua mefika. You know, because they were united. Okay. And I went and sat down, yeah. and uh, a photo was taken, and then everybody left. Nothing happened again. No, so, nobody talked to me. So you're telling, you know, me, you're so, telling me, Governor, so we, we don't there's, have... That, there's, that's there's, a, there's a sense of honesty. Mm -hmm. There's a sense of trustworthiness. There's a sense of doing things mm -hmm. that have shifted. So our problem started there. When I started mm -hmm. seeing a lot of games being played, okay. that we're all being shepherded to go in, mm -hmm. okay. we don't make decisions. Okay. Even the appointment of Tuju. You know, I'm a party leader of a constant party. So Tuju is appointed. Tuju is my friend. But I read it in the newspaper. In the you, you didn't know about it. I didn't know about Governor, it. Governor, I need to ask you this. Mm. So you didn't know what you were signing. My question then is in as in in, in no, we later signed a do another document. Yes, which you knew the content. We looked at the content. Yes, at that document. Yeah, we said we uh, people looked at the content, and there were some friends we were not happy about, but we knew we could deal with them and everything. That's the document we signed. Okay, we eventually. Signed. But eventually. we were not given a copy mm -hmm. so that we could share it to our Did members. Did you demand for your copy? Yes. But we you were demanded never given at that, that time, we were told, mm -hmm. because it was one document like this, mm -hmm. and then it has a section with all the other parties to sign, others are not signed. So when everybody has signed and it is registered, mm -hmm. we'll get a copy. Okay. We are up to today, You've never about got five weeks copy. later, uh -huh. we have never gotten a copy. So what we read is that mischief. And then the other day, Raila Omolo Dinga goes out and says they'll be zoning. The people will be zoning after one month, and then after that, they'll be zoning. So we've gone back to the 
factory settings okay. of the document there was there before. That means that my aspirants okay. will be left out. G Governor, do you have a separate legal agreement with UDA as opposed to this? Yes. You have yours and I, I have UDA. Mine. Yes. And that document, Not the mine with UDA. Yeah. No. You with see, what has happened is this. Uh -huh. um, Ruto, Musali Mudavadi, and Mutangula, yes. they formed a body called Kenya Kwanza. Mm -hmm. So we have gone into Kenya Kwanza. I am not in UDA. I am in Kenya Kwanza. But there is no provision for you signing with Kenya Kwanza. You there can only is, sign there is. You, that the respective signatories, yes. who are the three you mentioned, yeah. herein authorized and mandated by the relevant organs of the respective founding member parties, which are three, to negotiate and enter into alliances and coalitions mm -hmm. with other parties. So yes. UDA, Ford Kenya, ONC, can enter into this, but you cannot enter no, no, no. into an agreement. No, let me show you. Let me show. No, no, you're misunderstanding. Yes. I'm misreading. I'm misreading. I, what, I'm not misreading. What, I'm reading what, it here. What, let me, let me show you. Let me yes. show you. I'm reading you know, it what it says here yes. is that, where is it? Where this one, considering. Yeah. yeah. That the relevant organs to negotiate and enter into alliances and coalitions with other parties yes. with the aim of winning the general elections. That means the relevant organs of the founding member parties, mm -hmm. that is of, uh, what do you call it? Of the three of the them. The three, yeah, yes. Uh, Once they agree, uh -huh. they can enter into agreement with others. As, yeah. Because this document I signed, I signed it with Musalia Mudavati. Okay. I signed it with Otangula. Uh -huh. And I signed it with William. Governor, hold your thoughts. We are coming back to you. We need to take a quick break. When we come back, we want to ask one or two more questions about this agreement. And if you're getting at all what you were never getting in Azimio, you're getting it in Kenya Kwanza. Let's take this break. We are back with Dr. Alfred Muto after this break. Just ahead. We take you through the 27-kilometer multi-billion